Hi, Mike Redding here from Using Technology Better. Just want to show you how you or your students can use OneNote to easily solve maths problems. Now, the first way is, and probably the easiest way, is you can just type in a, a maths question or equation into OneNote. So if I said 43 plus 74 equals, it'll just give me the number. Uh, we can also do some more complicated questions, such as this one, uh, and so on. The other thing that you can do if your students have a touch device uh, or a pen enabled device even better uh, with their OneNote, then they can do some more complicated maths problems and even graph them out. So I've just written a question up here uh, that you might want to have a look at. So to work on this, all we need to do is just go to the draw button and then click on the lasso just here, just so we can select that. And if you had using your pen, uh, just to show you what the lasso feature looks like, uh, you can draw around it and it will grab all of that. And then you'll see that there is a section up here that says maths. You can also just convert this straight into a text if you wanted to write out your maths questions and then convert them into a text format. Uh, Microsoft can do that for you right inside OneNote as well. So let's just click on the maths button over here. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to just check that what it picks up here is what you've written. Uh, and you can always fix it if it's not. Then on the right hand side here under select an action, you just say I want to solve for X. And you'll see that it gives you an answer. And then you can say show steps. And I can do it by finding the square root uh, here. So here's all the steps. Uh, you'll see it all the way down the bottom here. Uh, just to show you uh, the other option for it. Now you can also plot. So as soon as I click plot, it will just plot that out. And if I wanted to take that and insert it on the page, I just click insert page. And now I have an image which I can move around. So you can see that you can uh, use very complex maths equations and very simple maths equations right inside OneNote and uh, it can solve it for you. So as a maths teacher, one of the things we need to think about is how do we get our students to think a little bit differently rather than just follow a step-by-step -step procedure to get to the answer. They need to understand what's happening in each of those steps. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. Uh, if you have any other questions, just leave us a comment.